I have built a randomizer with the names of 200 plus Pokemon characters up. And using this, we're going to pluck two names out of there, and thus, those characters will fight each other using their best possible teams. Welcome back to Pokemon Master Showdown, and last time we had a clash of battle styles as Frontier Brain Dahlia took on Hop, the rival from Galar, in a closely fought battle. But today we find out whose Kung Fu is better, as Marshall, the fighting type Elite Four member from Unova, takes on Mustard, former champion and fighting type gym leader of Galar. Marshall first appeared in Pokemon Black and White as one of the members of the Unova Elite Four at the end of the game though he is mentioned earlier in the game by Alder. Marshall calls himself Alder's apprentice, though he is largely unaware of Alder's thoughts. Alder compares Cheren to Marshall due to the value he places on power. He later reappeared in the sequels to Pokemon Black and White, still a member of the Elite Four, as well as the spin-off game Masters X and various manga appearances, though he hasn't appeared in the anime to date. He goes with a team of Conkelda and Mianxiao for his basic teams, before supplementing them out with Breloom, Machamp, Medichamp and Lucario from various rematch teams. Mustard first appeared in the Isle of Armour, the DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield as the Dojo Master of the island of the same name. In the past, Mustard used to be a fighting type gym leader before becoming the Galar League Champion after a heated battle with Opal about 50 years before the start of the story. He held the position for 18 years, only losing the battle after his prowess in battle began to wane following the death of his partner Pokemon. After refusing to win a rigged battle, he retired from the league and travelled the world before setting up his dojo, where even the future Galar champion Leon trained for a time, though never completing his training due to a horrible sense of direction. He's had anime, manga and TCG appearances, and here he goes with his signature Pokemon, Urshifu, who is backed up by the team of Komo O, Lycanroc, Corviknight, Luxray, and a Mianxiao of his own. It's time to head to the stadium, and it is Elite Four versus Dojo Master. It's Alder's student versus Leon's master. It's Marshall versus Mustard today on Pokemon Master Showdown. And we are ready to go. We are here in the stadium. It is time to take a battle stance as these two masters of fighting type Pokemon get this battle underway. Marshall begins with Mian Xiao, Mustard begins with Komo O. So, Mian Xiao looks like it's going to outspeed. It looks like it might be a fake out. That is the fake out. Does minimal damage. The Rocky Helmet does more to Mian Xiao. Well, what an interesting turn of events at the start. Mian Xiao Yu turns out of there. Does minimal damage and the Rocky Helmet has hurt Mian Xiao something rotten. Well, interesting start. Conkelder is in. Come on, oh, goes for the Stealth Rocks. Conkelder burns itself. That's going to activate its Guts ability. So, Conkelder, this might be a power-up punch. We can possibly see the two opponents are staring each other down. Two fighting type specialists. Two fighting type Pokemon. Ready to hit each other. Komodo goes to Earthquake. Conkel uses Drain Punch. Does massive damage, but it sort of bounces back and forth. As the Rocky Helmet does decent damage, the uh, Burn does damage. So, Conkelder did hit a decent blow, but did not come out unscathed. So, Marshall, is he going to carry on with his Brute Force approach? Mustard looks like he's toying with him at the moment. It looks like Mustard thinks he might have the advantage, but Wily Opponent... He's never going to completely rule himself out. Corviknight is in, and Conkelder hits a power-up punch on Corviknight. Does slightly under a third. So, I think if that Corviknight hits a blow in, it's going to hurt. Corviknight goes to protect. Conkelder tried to drain punch it. The burn is sapping down Conkelder. So, the Corviknight stares impassively at the fighting-type Pokemon. Hovers majestically on those dark wings. So, what... Is mustard thinking. He's got to know that a powerful flying type move will end this. Would Marsh be tempted to make a switch? Komo comes in and Conkelder hits the map punch. Drops Komo below a fifth, but Conkelder slowly, slowly, slowly getting more and more hurt as the time goes by. Conkelder is just punching itself out on Komo. Drops down onto a fifth, but Komo has gone down to a map punch. So, far, so good. Well, 
What's Mustard's next plan going to be? It is the Mien Shao. He's gone for a Mien Shao of his own. So, can Colton Kelder get something? That's the map punch. Straight down. Crit. Marshall goes two up. The Conkelder is still standing, but not by much. Mustard is reeling. The Lycan Rock is out. So, that's the Axella Rock. Conkelder did resist it, but the Conkelder goes crashing down. Well, 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 well. It swung back. What is Marshall going to do to counter? In comes the Breloom to face the Lycan Rock. So, this is going to be an interesting clash as it's Grass type versus Rock type. The Urshifu is in. That's a power up punch that does decent damage to the Urshifu. Breloom has poisoned itself. So, Urshifu, very dangerous opponent. The Drain Punch, Breloom, straight down. That was lethal and it has been tied back up very, very quickly. So, we shall have to see. The Mien Shao is out. Lands on the Stealth Rocks. So, goes to the Fake Out and does some damage. The Flinch is mainly the main damage, it would appear. So, what is Marshall going to play here? Is he going to escape with another U-turn? That is a U-turn. Escapes. Urshfu drops down below. Three quarters. Medicham is in, lands on the Stealth Rocks, and that's a Drain Punch on Medicham. It is resisted, but Urshifu does get some of its health back. Can Medicham survive another Drain Punch? Is that even going to be the mover it goes for? It doesn't survive the Drain Punch, and Medicham goes crashing down. Well, Machamp is here, the No Guard Machamp, so that's a Drain Punch. Machamp hit hard by it. The dry, dynamic punch hits Urshifu hard and confuses it. That is something Marshall would like to see. Well, this has just got interesting. Can Marshall take advantage of this? The Luxray is here. That's another dynamic punch. Does massive damage to the Luxray and confuses it. The Luxray has been burned. That could be potentially very quite worrying indeed. That's the facade. Machamp crashing down. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. In comes the Mien Shao once again. So, what can it do against the Luxray? Can it bring it down? The Corviknight is in. So, Fake Out does very little damage to the Corviknight. Is Marshall going to make the change? Is he going to use U-Turn to escape again? Corviknight goes to protect. The U-Turn is blocked. So, very interesting indeed. That Corviknight has caused some issue with Protect. I think Mustard has to have the advantage here. He has four Pokemon left. Some of them have taken a bit of damage. Lycanroc gets hit by the U-turn. Sudden switch from Mustard. And in comes the Lucario. So, Lucario versus Lycanroc. Is this something that Marshall can spring his attack back in? And no, he can't! Lycanroc, close combat, straight down. Oh dear. Marshall has one left. It is the Mien Shao. Mustard has four left, and although some of them have been hurt badly, it might not count for a lot. Lycan Rock goes down to Drain Punch. In comes the Urshifu. Can Mien Shao do something? That's the Acrobatics. Urshifu survives. Oh no! And Urshifu lands the Drain Punch. Mien Shao goes crashing down. That is a loss to Marshall. Mustard proved to be the better fighter. Mustard proved to be better at Pokemon. Mustard takes the victory in this clash of fighting type specialists. Well, 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 what a match. It looked like Marshall had it in the bag at one point. It looked like Marshall was building an unassailable advantage, but the experience of Mustard told he had just a bit too much. I have been your commentator, folks, Once and Future Gamer, and this has been another exciting battle from Pokemon Master Showdown. Thank you for joining me in Showdown Stadium, and... I will see you on the next battle. Thank you very much.